Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We have sort of stabilized our money situation. By stabilized, I don't mean that we're in a healthy situation. A healthy situation for money is the one that we had before we turned into a feudal nation, where we had piles and piles and piles of cash and things were looking great. Now things are a little bit um, less great and we're going to have to figure out what to do about that. Unfortunately, one of the best ways of making money in Crusader Kings is to have a lot of money. That is a fantastic way to make money. It's not currently our situation. Our situation is we have no money and we need to try and figure out a way of boosting things. I suspect our next big opportunity is going to be trying to go down to the it is my domain decision so we can extort subjects and try and get a little bit of money out of them. That might work. If we can get just enough money to finish our legend, we are actually fantastic. Because if we can finish our legend, we save 6.5 a month just from getting rid of the legend, which is fantastic. It will also make a ton of land du jour to us, um, which is also fantastic. It means that we can get full taxes from another kingdom, which will be cool also means that we could in theory fire our court chronicler saving ourselves another 0 0.6 a month i think yeah we could save another 0 0.6 a month so we actually would go up to like i don't know nine almost 10 gold a month that's not bad that's a healthy amount of gold to be gaining each month that's a sensible amount it means that you're going to have enough to do the events that you want to do it means that we're eventually going to have enough to be able to go on tours which will get us more money and yeah it's kind of where we're aiming for so our current plan is just make sure we don't lose too much more money before we get to the point of um being able to get our legend or so that we can get the extort subjects then get our legend and then kind of move on from this stage because this stage is a little bit awkward for our nation so let's zoom in and see if there's anything we need to do so we could isolate our capital probably not that we are negative cash maybe hold court will give us an event that will cause us to gain some money there's a chance i'm sure i've seen it before merging of cultural identities uh mm, i don't know King Guthrather will dislike me if I choose the bottom option. I guess I'll choose this option. It's not great. We don't have any Sami vassals directly with us, though, so that should be fine. A call to war. Oh, wonderful. Oh, munificent Empress Kraka, I am Agafia, and I have traveled far to ask for your aid in writing a great injustice. Chieftain Mitiga of Sarasien currently sits on the throne of Saracen, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyally until the end of my days. Okay, where is this? So it's a single province. Okay. Single province. No real allies to speak of. I mean, you got this guy, but he's, you know, 700 troops. That may actually earn us some money. That actually seems like that's a war that we could make money out of. We don't even have to raise all of our troops. Hmm. All right. Huh. I think I'm actually good to to do this. Yeah. You know what? I'm in. I'm in. Also, we can't declare war right now because we're in a negative. So this allows us to declare war without being allowed to declare war. Noble privileges. Yalfredus, my vassal, strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to her petition. Is galling for a great house like Oster to have the threat of evocation hanging over us like mere barons or tenants? Let us ensure the sta stability of the Empire is not threatened by trivial disagreements. No, I'm not going to give you protected title revocation. Uh, I would gain stress because of this? That seems a little unfair. Do I gain stress under every circumstance? Yep, I'm going to tell her to go away then. Alright, I'm not going to give her, you know, protected title revocation. That's uh, far too good to give her. If we give her protected title revocation, we would be in... Um... Oh, I can demand payment from my new uh, person. Because I have a hook on them. Wonderful, I will 100% demand payment from you. That's fine. Hey, we're in the positives. Uh, but yeah, we don't want to do that. Because we're also, when our legend completes, going to get... If I can find it here. 
uh, we will get a, um, where is it? a claim on every existing de jure title inside the Empire of Gartheriki, which will then give me a reason to revoke titles. So we're obviously going to give nobody title revocation. Um, here we have an interesting choice of what we raise. I think I'm going to raise men at arms only. And the reason for that is although our men at arms will cost money reinforcing, they don't cost us anything if we're bankrupt. And we're probably going to become bankrupt if we raise our um, armies. So we'll go with this. Oh, this is great. We got a great mental break event. We can choose between Confider, which gets us diplomacy and stress loss, or Athletic, which is a small health boost and some prowess. We'll choose Athletic. Yeah, fantastic. And now we can run off stress as well, I believe. Although we get, like, sweaty or something. Yeah, sweaty stench for one year. All right. Uh, friendly competition. Sometimes it's hard to find motivation to remain consistent when exercising by myself. I could try and find myself a partner who would then not only motivate me on bad days, but would also be someone who I can compare myself to when tracking my own progress. What kind of companion would suit me the most? Someone I can look up to, someone to keep me on my toes, or perhaps someone I know I should never aspire to be. Watching Drifa's struggle will be motivating. 50% chance she becomes athletic, or... We don't need anyone. Uh, I don't want a rival, so I'm going to choose the bottom one. Okay. Uh, Bodil has become an uh, acclaimed knight. Who died? This guy. Okay. Uh, I believe that you might have been my marshal. Yeah. So new marshal can be this guy. He's actually not that bad at it. Uh, I shouldn't have any raised ar- Oh no, I do have cost for raised armies. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, having this guy reduce that cost is actually fine then. Um, oh, as was pointed out, by the way, I do have, like, not 100% control in, um, our, in, like, some of my provinces, but, like, it's 98 and then, yeah, 98 actually in both of them. Or 93 over here. But the amount that we're losing due to this is so minimal, it's just not worth taking the guy off, um, raised armies, um, because, I mean, look at this. It's, um... 3% levy, 6% taxes. It's 6% of 0 0.94. Well, it's 6% of what 0 0.94 would have been. Anyway, it's not a lot of money. I was I was trying to work out what it would be. What value would, minus 6% would be 0 0.94. That would be 1. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, so we're losing um, 0 0.06 gold from that. So it's not like we're losing a lot. Yeah, that sounds right. I was just recalculating in my head, going, is this correct? Uh, yes. Okay, head over here. I would love to beat up that army completely in order to earn a lot of money. My legend promoters are all running away, but we've still got the spread, so that's fine. Hey, I made how much? 16 gold. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I'm now going to lead this myself. The reason we want to lead it ourselves is so that we can, um, yeah, is so that we can get the extra captures here. How many do I need to siege it? Yeah, split off be uh, the besiegers. So this one, that's fine. Let's d uh, de assign ourselves from that army. This army we're going to reassign ourselves to. And then I'm going to disband this army here when we get back to our territory. Right, I need a successor to Champion of Champions. I forgot. Or Champion of Conquests. Uh, Harold is the only person who can do it. Hmm. Okay, we, we need to do a courtier marrying off as well. We'll do that after the war. Secrets exposed. People are sleeping with, it, with each other. They had a child. It's not huge news for us. Uh, five months to return home, don't care. It's absolutely fine. Right, and now we're just going to siege with this army, which means that we're not paying as much for the um, raised army cost. Not employing a wet nurse. Uh, we could potentially look for one, but that would cost us money. So I'd rather not. Okay, we captured someone. Can I ransom you back immediately? Yes, wonderful. So it's got 41 gold for that person. Anyone else I can ransom back? 
Let's do a quick check here of anybody with this on. No, nope, nobody I can ransom back. Okay. They're going to enforce our demands. She has gained the title. May your years be short and miserable. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. So be it. And now, we have our vassal who likes us very much. Right. Well, she actually doesn't like us that much, even though we pressed her claim. Which is kind of funny. 38% chance she converts? Why don't you convert? Just do it. Nope. She decided not to convert. Uh, this is within the Yardom of the Dawn Valley, which is my vassal. So I am going to... Wait, is it my vassal? Yeah? Oh, it's my vassal's vassal. Can I not grant... Oh, no, I did this last time. I have to grant it at this level, whatever. Uh, grant vassal that one. There we go. Oh, who are you? Just some random person. Are you part of the same duchy? No. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I can get 15 gold for this person now. Because they had their own money, but they weren't spending their own money because they were in someone else's court. That's fine. Wait a second. There we go. Got a little bit of money off of them. Now, 51 gold. We're practically swimming in cash. Alright, anyone else got any money for me? I'll take. Oh, I was going to say, I'll take literally any amount of money that you have. Okay, that's fine. Wonderful. There's a little seven uh, gold in there. Okay, cool. We now have 58 gold to spend. And we're making 1.8. Is that with these guys needing to reinforce? No, they're all reinforced. So we're now making 1.8 in terms of real money. Alright, it's not ideal. But it is money. And we are about to get extort subjects in about half a second. Wonderful. Let us do... It is my domain. That then gives us access to a new decision. That new decision is in here. We can now extort our subjects. This isn't actually as bad as it seems. It does give us a lot of stress because we're generous. But it will give us a chance to get some gold. So, you get a negative opinion here. So we can take it from our courtiers, which gets us extorted courtiers, minus 15 courtier opinion. You can say, I demand gifts, so in this case you don't even lose opinion, you just gain 140 gold. Or don't do that. Alright, I'm going to take as much as I can. Worthy. And now listen, listen, almighty endeavor for Oster. The clamor of courtiers fills the room, the sound of cutlery banging on the table and raucous laughter. A doubtful thought haunts me among the admiration of the court. Am I worthy? Uh, I'm not sure anymore, we'll see. Okay. That's fine. Right. Next thing I want to do, let's have a little look in here. Can I upgrade this? How much do I need? 158. Okay, we're getting closer. We are definitely getting closer. We can do that extort subjects thing again in a little bit. Uh, let's maybe marry some people into our court. Seems like an idea. Do we want to get rid of these people? Do we think any of them are going to earn money? Probably not. Let's maybe do some demand conversions here. Yeah, let's get them out of my court. And, well, out of my prison. And then, in turn, also out of my court. Okay. In the caverns of the mind. Darkness and cold dwell in these catacombs. What if I just stayed here in silence? The stone in me, an occasional rodent as my sole visitor. There's a calmness in that. Empress Kraka. Mayor Alvor's figure appears around the corner. What are you doing down here? What a fateful encounter. I've traveled many days and nights to find you. Your legend. I must confess that it moved me. My beloved, my dear Bowie stands next to her. I was worried about you. Okay, so we're getting valuable support, which gives us fertility, attraction bonus, and spouse uh, opinion bonus. Alvor, you have moved me, so you can start promoting my legend. I cannot let my people down. Or King Thorfinnur can help with the diplomatic details, which will then get his courtier and guest opinion up by 20. Nice, you can help with the diplomatic details. Okay, cool. Right, now it's time to sort out our courtiers, I think. So, we're going to go courtiers, so we're looking for people who are not related to us first, which is fine. 
So, uh, we also want to change married one to unmarried to start with. So, Suryana. Has been suggested that I banish people. If I could imprison and banish, I can take their money, in theory. So, could I imprison you? Would be an act of tyranny, and it's probably not going to work. You would think imprisoning the blind person would be an easy task, but uh, it is not. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what we can do about that. You do have a lot of money. I just don't think there's a way of us getting it. Okay. Well, uh, is this really the highest it's going to be? Due to that, okay. So something in here that would increase our chances of um, imprisoning. It was in other places. I'm just don't know if there there is here. No, yeah, so I don't think there is anything anymore. That's fine. You're currently managing domain. It's based on intrigue. I get six intrigue here. We'll increase it by a little bit, I think. So we've got plus nine due to our intrigue. So we'll increase it by plus six. It makes us a 50-50. 50-50 and we lose five opinion with everybody. And then we're going to have to banish her, gaining more tyranny. I just can't see that being worth it. Long term. Okay, in which case, you just need to leave my court. So, let's normal marry you off to Otar. Yep, that seems fine. You shall be married and be gone. Anastasia. Uh, there is no reason for you to be in our court either. You do have an inheritable trait. However, um, you didn't pass the trait on. Like, there's, um, you have no children. And you're too old to have children, so therefore we will marry you off to this dude. Alright. That's fine. Edmunder? Uh, monk. You may not marry. So I guess the question is, is this guy good enough? Not really. No. Well, he has an inspiration. Okay, you can, you can stay then. You got an inspiration. You, you're my champion. Okay. Let's marry you off. Uh, what am I looking for in particular? Um, I don't know. No, how about some learning? Probably something that we're missing. Maybe an inheritable trait? Um, yeah, how about her? Good learning, genius. Um, yeah, I think that would be fine. There's a chance they have children. Even if they don't, we'll have a genius in our court with reasonable learning to start with. I think that seems okay. Yeah, do one of those. Right, uh, so that was him. You? You don't really seem good enough to be in my court. Let's uh, matrilineally marry you off to... Um, somebody who's in a court, like this person. Marry you off to her. Be gone. And then we have Vishli. He might be good enough to be a Reeve at some point, which means that he can stay. Yeah, he's almost good enough to be our backup Reeve. Uh, which is the developmental champion. We do currently have a successor in our husband, who would be fine. But yeah, he's like on the list, so I think that would be fine there. Okay. Still means we, we only have Harold, our guest. I need to tell Harold to go away. Where is Harold? Harold. Courtiers. Uh, dismiss. The reason we want Harold to uh, go away is because now, if I go into here, I should be able to invite a successor. Yeah. So I couldn't invite a successor because Harold was sitting there filling our successor slot. Just kind of annoying. Right. Carry on. Okay. That's fine. Uh, spreading the word. We're going to try and convince this person to join our thing. Uh, let's see. You're driven. A tale of revenge. Uh, I mean, she is vengeful, so we'll give her a tale of revenge. You started promoting our thing. Easy enough. Okay. You've, you've done what in county? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. You've converted faith. Okay. Next one is like over here. Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, we can negotiate an alliance with our sister. We don't need to do that. Okay. How far away are we from this? Well, the upgrade is 493. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just a little bit more in terms of uh, money and we'll be there. Feud beset, uh, beset by threats. Uh, I'll gain stress if I uh, give up this um, feud. So I'm going to have to say we must finish what we started. Yeah. Okay. Our realm just changed size again. You may be appointed champion of conquests. Yeah, you seem better. You're not like great, but you are better. Okay. Uh, 14. So we're going down to... F uh, wait, back one. Down to 14. There we go. Force him to be a champion. Perfect. That gives us a backup. At least for now. And then we can marry him off. Right. That is... Why are you not married? Oh, because I... Okay, yeah. You should be married. <laughs> I was thinking there, like, what what reason was there? And going, nope, there isn't actually a reason why uh, this person uh, isn't married. I just didn't marry him off. I think it's because I wasn't sure I was keeping him. Decided to keep him, but didn't go back to double check that he, um, yeah, that he uh, was actually uh, married off. If anyone's got any good things here. Uh, you can marry somebody who is Hale. Be alright. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Marry them off. Right. Good. Carrying on. Right. Uh, your neighbor lost against Grodno in a holy war. Okay. That's fine. We're moving closer to where we need to be. Do I have any artifacts that I can sell? Just out of curiosity. Uh, not unless I want to sell a bunch of artifacts, but even then I'm not really getting the amount of money I need. Okay. I have realized I could give one of these uh, people um, a dag the dagger I have if I feel like they're not a good enough uh, person in the role that they're in. I could give that person a dagger, I suppose, but yeah. It's fine for now. They're providing us bonuses. Oh, what have you done? You promoted culture. Aha. Wonderful. So now we'll continue spreading our culture. Uh, it was asked, would it be better to spread culture or raise development? And it's kind of an interesting question. Spreading culture, I feel, is useful to do. Because then all your cultural bonuses will apply to every single holding you have. Right? Because it applies to all the holdings of your culture. The problem with doing that is that obviously then you're not controlling the average development. If you have a much smaller culture, you can increase the average development in that smaller culture, in which case the increased development is obviously going to be better because you're increasing development of that province in your much smaller area. So it's, it's kind of what you're going for. Are you trying to spread your culture everywhere so that your bonuses from your culture apply to all your holdings, or are you trying to get the bonuses from tech? right in which case you want to raise the um you want to raise the average development the other thing though about tech and raising it is that if you get say battlements that unlocks all early medieval uh, era fortification buildings that is only available in provinces which have your culture right it's not available in another province so you couldn't upgrade the upgrade would be unavailable there so you would need that culture to get the tech so, it's, it's kind of a balancing act, a little bit. Although then there is also the, uh, when you raise development in one province, it does also spread to other pro provinces, so... Uh, I wonder if it's early enough here. Yeah, it's, or I see, sorry, I'm just being late enough in the game for us to see some of it. But like, look at this one. This one's got high development here in, bo in Bonn. Around it, you can kind of see it's more yellow. There's high development here, around it it's more yellow. There's high development in Rome. Around it, there's more. It's because development kind of spreads out. You can see even in Novgorod, which we've increased slightly. Around it, 
is a little bit lighter because that area has gained development because Novgorod has the development. So, yeah, there's um, there are other benefits to raising development there. Right, uh, on pause. I didn't mean to just zoom it in and out for no reason. I was just thinking. Oh, we have another court that speaks Arabic. That's Vladimir now speaks Arabic. Let me have a look. Is there a court languages map mode? There is, isn't there? Uh, control W, of course. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of Arabic-speaking courts in our area. Very uh, interesting. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty. Well, come in, come in, welcome. Wonderful. Thank you for the uh, gifts. Vilcantus in despair. From my throne, I hear the visceral cries of my son Vicantus. It sounds of a struggle. Promptly bolting up and racing down the hallway, I skid to a stop when I see my daughter Driffa uh, restraining the poor lad with one arm and awkwardly clutching a book with the other. I barely have time to bark at a man for explanation when both begin blurting out their version of events. Vicantus refuses to allow me to read him my masterpiece on the art of diplomacy, cries the tutor. I've heard this story book a thousand times, Vicantus protests. It's so boring. Trust, trust that Driffa knows best. Um, I could buy the book from her. Perhaps the lad should learn something else. Uh, trust that Driffa knows best. Okay. Also, that reminds me. I only did... Um, our dynasty? Let's do... Uh, sorry, I only did outside our dynasty. I forgot we had a few of our dynasty I needed to do as well. Uh, let's start with... Svonhilder? You are quick, so you might get to stay in our court just purely because of that right now. Yeah. Let's, um... Search for somebody. I see... Let's just search for prowess. Let's see who we can get. How about Colby Orn here? He's robust. He's about the right age. Yeah, he seems like he's pretty solid. You can marry Colbjorn. Next, we have Driffa, who is betrothed. Okay. And we have Orvar. Orvar uh, is handsome. Uh, you could marry this beautiful person, but we're kind of looking for somebody who isn't landed here. Where are we? Um, is, he, is he good enough to stay? Uh, kinda. Yeah, he's he's alright. Yeah, let's look for somebody who is not a ruler. There we go. Uh, seeing what we got, whether we've got any of these. Ah, there we go. It's someone who's beautiful. So let's maybe uh, get those traits spreading. You can marry her. That seems good. Right, send a proposal. Uh, we're about 93 gold off, right, on this one? 93. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Clear that out. Um, you appoint a worthy successor to the developmental champion. That's going to be my husband. Why was he unlisted? Maybe he was ineligible for a second and then became eligible again? Okay. Sure. Knights are qualifying for tournaments. That's good to see. I didn't even know there was a tournament going on, but that's all right. Um, people are promoting my legend. Are we still at 300? We are still at 300, of course. My neighbor lost a holy war. That was Bohemia losing a holy war. Not to us, I think, but that's fine. Uh, what's this? You'd like me to go on a hunt with you? Um... Where to go on a, where where is the hunt? It's very close. We could go on a hunt. It gives us something to do. How much would it cost us? Nothing. We don't even need to hire a caravan master. And it would get us um two hundred diplomacy lifestyle experience for coming back. Sure. Why not? Let's go on a hunt. Gives us something to do and it gives us a chance of getting more events as well. Maybe we get a um what's it called? Wait, why is this sieged? It's, I mean it's not our land, so it doesn't really matter. Your war with Queen Grimma. The Finnish is your war for the Earldom of, fin of Finland. That seems fair. Uh but yeah, it gives us a chance of getting uh, artifacts from the uh 
Yeah, from, from the hunt, which would be very nice to have. Alright, how long till it starts? There's only 10 guests. They're all traveling. I'm sure it used to tell you how long they would take, but maybe it doesn't do that anymore. Um, my neighbor has won against the son of someone in a Northman army conquest. Okay. Uh, snakes at court just means there's some adultery going on. I can increase your feudal. Uh, sorry, I can increase Duchess Friedis's feudal ta uh, taxes towards me. Sure. Seems fine. Let's go. Wildflowers. My vassal Lagan is crouched down on the ground, hum humming cheerfully, picking peonies. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. Empress, what a bounty of nature! Or look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell him to get back on his horse. It'd be we're gonna succeed at this hunt. Okay, what are we going for? The corner of the stag. It's perilous. Okay. Damn thing is gone. We did not succeed. Well, we shall now leave. But we do gain the trait hunter, which is a prowess increase, which is nice. Okay. So we got something from going. That's alright. Heading back. A jewel demanded. An imposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. Uh, do I want to jewel him? Is he any good? Who is he? He's this dude, right? Mm, no. Me attacked by a Northman army? Alright. Would the Northman army like to tell me um, where they are? So that I can, you know, go to uh, war with them? Or would they like to just be somewhere vaguely off in the distance? Uh, it appears vaguely off in the distance might be the answer. Let's go here. Okay, so they are currently here, I think. Um, I'm not going to give you money. I'm going to banish you the way I always do. Is that them here now? Nope, that's someone else. A shady discussion. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Svanhilder and Galeen to my ears. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. While it's hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, it is clear the discussion relates to King Thorfinna. So I can have them bound and delivered. If only I can get a bit closer, I must know what they are saying. Or, it's probably nothing. I'm going to torture them. Prisoner's lips are sealed tighter than I expected. After a long night of questioning, the jailer's frustration takes the better of him and the two courtiers are dead by the morning! Wait a second. The subject of the discussion was of an unsavory habit of King Thorfinner that I was completely unaware of. I learned of his disputed heritage secret. But that's Svonhilder Oster, so that's a family member, married to Kobiorn. And then Galen, who is married to Orvar, who are both now uh, dead. And it counted that it's killed by me, which seems a little unfair given I didn't kill them, but okay. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I guess I learned your secret. Can I blackmail you? Nope, I cannot blackmail you, so I can't even get any money out of it. Okay, well, uh, back to our courtiers list and then looking for... Actually, it doesn't matter whether my, they're my dynasty or not, but we're looking for unmarried. Colbjorn, let's find you uh, somebody to marry. Like... Uh... This person here, who's robust. Double robust. Medium chance of children, high chance they become Herculean. Let's do that. Next up, we have Orvar, who needs to find another person to marry, given the last one is now dead. Just seeing what we have in terms of stats here. How about, uh, it has to be, we're looking for somebody really who's under 35 for you. Uh, how about Peskin? Sure. High chance of children, that's kind of what we're looking for. And then Drifa is still betrothed. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, now I zoom back in. 
So they're here now. Okay, so we probably want to raise our troops somewhere over... Well, we'll wait a second. We'll wait for them to land. We have time. They going for my capital? Sort of, yeah. They're, they're sort of going for my capital. Okay, um... Rally point here. We do want all the troops, unfortunately. Right. Uh, are we good to go? We got most of them. Yeah, that'll do. Attack. This actually should make us money if we do this quickly. Right. In we go. Defeated first army. Made a bunch of money off of that. That was worth 55 gold. We fight the second army. And... Oh, -ho! oh! somebody died. One of my counselors died there. Okay, but we just made 400 gold off of that. Need a new spy master. Uh, who's our second best here? Hmm. Yeah, let's reassign you. Let's put in uh, Jarl Bjorg into that position. Seems fine. Right, uh, Betrothed can marry. We will send this off. So it's Drift for marrying Rolfer. This is fine. Right, that's okay. That's all done. Um, pause a sec. Oh, I didn't end the war. End the war. Disband our armies. Um, pause a second. Cool. 1st of January. We will upgrade our legend. So gain access to the Consolidate Kingdom decision, allowing you to immediately de jure drift a kingdom into your realm. Gain access to Legendary Palace option to clear grounds for a legendary building decision. Gain 20 additional legitimacy from your legend protagonist. Uh, you will gain a claim on every existing de jure title inside the Empire of Gartheriki. Gain access to the Commission Legend Artifact decision, allowing you to commission a chronicle to commemorate your legend. Done. And then I'm going to click complete. Yes. The Book of the House of Oster. Here is the end of the book of Empress Drifa and of her noble family Oster, whose fam fame and le legitimacy is known across the whole land. And here is the end of, the of a mighty endeavor for Oster. Drifa's legend culminates in a massive, in a marvelous adventure. Her great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came for her, uh, to her encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. And here it was written: Holmgarther, first of January, ten seventeen A.D. Devoted with axe in hand. We have finished our uh, second legend. It was again mythical. And now we're making 8.6 a month. Things have changed a lot. We are in a much, much better spot. We have money. We have everything. I would love to consolidate the kingdom. Which kingdom do we want? Uh, well, what's de jure in our empire? Okay, so a lot of Russia isn't. We could try and take Russia. The problem is, if we take a bit of Russia and make it consolidate it, it's actually going to screw us. Because if we consolidate Russia, it's actually going to reduce the number of de jure counties that it has. So we're going to own a larger percentage. We may own a different percentage of them. Well, actually, maybe not. Wait, no. If I move them into ours, we will always own less, right? Let's see. We own 30, We own 48. Wait. Oh, I don't have the money for... So this... Wait, is this splitting right now? Uh, no. Wait, why isn't it splitting our empire in two? Should it not split our empire into two empires? Would it not create the empire of Russia? We own 48 out of the 39 required counties. Uh... Should that not split? To me, that should split. That seems, uh, odd. I was thinking we should... Grab some, like, Vladimir or Ruthenia. Mer merge it in. Have we got anywhere that's more obvious? Oh, yeah. We could merge in Finland, I suppose. That seems like a fairly obvious one. It's a big bit of land right in the middle of our realm. Yeah, let's merge in Finland. Let's not mess things up too much. 
Oh, there, there must be a kingdom with any desert drift progress. Yeah, my will be done. Finland. Yeah. As a great and renowned empress, I hold many titles within my realm. Though not all of them are considered a part of the Empire of Gartheriki, my custodianship over them has certainly left its mark. My state is now legendary, the world that my word holds a lot of weight, and I feel that there are those who would question me. If I were to uh, say night were day, or sorry, day were night, it would be written as such. Equally, if I were to say that the Kingdom of Finland was rightfully part of the Empire of Gartheriki, so too would it be written. Actually, I just had a thought here. I know we've got the event sounds on in the background. That's 61 years, 61 years. 78 years. What were our options? Is uh, Finland, White Rus, Vladimir, and Estonia. 87 years. So, in theory, we'll get this in 61 years anyway. I think getting it now is still good. I choose uh, Kingdom of Finland. Okay. Did that work? Yeah. It actually got rid of an independence faction, apparently. All right. So now Finland are paying me the full amount, so I'm making another 1.5 a month. So now we're making 10 a month. That's incredible. Okay, clear grounds for a legendary palace. Sure. Osel is going to gain it. Okay. That's fine. So Osel has gained a slot for a legendary palace. Don't have enough for it right now, but it would give us... Uh, holding taxes, hostile scheme success chance, personal scheme success chance, legitimacy, court, uh, courtly vassal opinion, and courtly vassal tax opinion. Is this exactly the same as the statue, but it's a different vassal type? Uh, no. It is slightly different. So that's prestige, renown, popular opinion. This is better. I think this is just objectively better. Well... Depends. I think holding taxes are significantly better than any, and development growth is significantly better than anything on the other one, but anyway. That's pretty cool. Uh, we do also have some disease slowly seeping in here as well. Okay, cool. I think that we're, uh, we're in a good spot. I think I'm much, much happier with where we are now than where we were at the start of the episode. Things are much clearer in terms of what we need to do. We have a pile of money, which is great. We can start doing some things with that. Potentially start getting our courtiers built back up, getting it so that we have people filling positions and other such things. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.